Okay, so first we're gonna start off here. This is our slider bait setup for the top and the surface, okay? They call it a slider weight because it does slide across the line freely. It's not just tied on. All right, we're using a small number two or number four hook right now. We have some nice, beautiful anchovy over here for bait. So, go ahead and scoop some out here. So we're going to come up to the bait tank and we're going to go ahead and take a look at all our bait here and we're going to try to choose the best bait that we can okay the most more lively and less dead bait that we have is the best chance we have of getting bit so i'm looking at our baits here and i'm making sure they're not floating like this guy or they don't have too many red spots on them so there is one good bait in here that i like okay so i'm going to single him out and take my time to catch him all right we're going to grasp him gently don't want to grab the bait too tight Okay, these bait are very fragile and they will die if you squeeze them real hard, okay? So what we're looking for right here in front of the eye, there's a silver dot right in front of his eye, all right? We're gonna try to pin our hook right there, side to side through the nose, as so, okay? We're gonna make sure we're not just letting go of our line here. We're gonna walk up to the rail and find our spot, okay? All right, guys, worry about, we're gonna try this other calp. After down. we're on our spot, we're gonna make sure it's clear behind us before we cast, Quarter okay? Bob, Always here. watching behind us. We don't have to watch water, we're not gonna miss, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and just swing it back and give a little toss out there. As soon as your bait hits the water, we're gonna wanna pinch the line with our thumb and our forefinger right here, okay? So what we're doing is putting a little tension on the line. We wanna be able to fill our bait, all right? So what we're doing now is letting the line out every, every couple seconds or so, we're gonna feed him a little bit of line and let him swim back there in that current and look at as natural as possible, okay? If you have your bail closed like this, your bait's not gonna look as natural in the water. You have less of a chance of getting bit. Okay, so you want to keep your bail open, keep some tension on your bait, and feed them line nice and slowly. Oh, look like that, we are bit. All right, so once we get bit, I'm gonna let go of the line for about four seconds. Okay, I'm gonna shut this, wait till we get a little tension, and we got tension, now we're gonna swing, and we are on. Okay, you're gonna set the hook just like that, and keep tension on, keep winding. Here he comes, here he comes. So you don't need to pump real hard, you don't need to lift all crazy when you're, fight, when you're catching these calico sand bass. Just want to keep a nice steady wind on them straight to the boat. Here he comes, here he comes. We'll let him fill right there. All right. Now we're going to leave some line out right there, lift him up just like that. Bam, here we are. Kelp bass for you. Here he is. This guy's a little bit short. These kelp bass do need to be 14 inches to keep here in California. So we're going to let him go and we're going to let him grow. We'll see you later, buddy.